All right, picking up where we last left off. Just threw uh, Seaguard's armor down to him. Now it's time to go fight a boss. Guy's taking revenge for his buddy there. I don't even actually need to fight that guy. an ember and summon for this one. Do we want to summon another player or an NPC? See what NPC signs are around. Yeah, let's summon Henri of Astora. Yeah, why not? Let's make it a damn party. Let's summon Horus the Hushed as well. There's absolutely no reason to be summoning these guys that I can think of, but it'll make the fight probably more challenging, actually.
That was the first time I've actually come close to dying on that boss, I think. Just having those extra summons there gave it so much more health. Let's see. I don't think there's anything in here, but I could be mistaken. Bonfire and then let there be item. Oh. I don't know if I've ever actually noticed that before. It's pretty cool. It's like a bigger fireball. Let's grab some more attunement. And I think I may have had additional Estus flash shards too to upgrade my healing. Be careful. I don't think I have the means to upgrade my great axe yet. Okay. So the next step is to go back to the crucifixion woods. down to another irritating part of the game. Are you serious? That thing's just gonna stand there and take it? Okay. Oh, it comes back with full life too, that's hilarious. There's so many things trying to kill me right now. This is madness. Okay. Harder. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Not right. Not right. Bad. Shit, that crab's running around over there, too.
god, he just came out of nowhere. Not think this shit through. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Holy shit. That was that was not death to invader. That was just death to the fucking apocalypse there. Everything in the environment trying to kill me. Holy shit. Let's try that again though. I want to kill that invader. That was fucking frustrating. Hilarious, but pretty frustrating. to proceed with more caution. Come on, bro, invade me. Rion the Burned. Is that an NPC or a human player? That eh, seems like a human player, so I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked here. Oh, he's just gonna heal. Okay. the burned. Was that a human player? I'm gonna alt tab real quick. Grion the burned. No? That's that was a human player? Okay. Oh it's kinda like groin. <laughs>
I mean, I beat that one crap up. I could probably take the other one. It wasn't that bad of a fight. What is it with me and Harry on every platform? Okay. Oh, nice! You can do a critical on that. Oh my God! I'm just beating the piss out of everything. God damn it, I'm getting invaded by a person now. Streak had to end sometime. That asshole didn't let me finish that other fight though. That hardly counts as a duel in my opinion. Yeah, I think I mentioned this several videos ago. This place is a goddamn nightmare. If you're in, uh, if you use an ember. Why the fuck did I even die? We really like to get those souls back. place. Baron Keep. I got another copy of the Great Swamp Ring. That's interesting. Style souls. Oh yeah, I forgot the uh, the swamp is all poisonous. Health is gonna slowly tick away. That's fine though. Dark Sword, which is the, uh, I'm not sure if it's still the case, but it was known as like the cheesiest PvP weapon in the game. It had the longsword moveset, so it had good reach, good damage. I think it was actually the best damage for that weapon type, and it was fast as hell. 
And it was just like the go-to weapon for PvP. That and the S-Stock, I believe. And people would just spam their fast attack with it. A lot of people were pissy about that weapon. Fuck having a fair fight with those guys. They're they're nasty as hell. Great sword. That was pointless. shot those guys, they can be pretty nasty. I guess I could use that to cure the poison status effect, but then I'll just keep building it back up immediately. Oh god, these guys. Fuck. Do I wanna bother? Yeah, I don't wanna bother. Place where I can rest, honestly. is there's three, I think, flames that we need to extinguish, and then this gate will open. Spooky. shit those guys could do. Damn, I had 20,000 souls up there too, which in the scheme of things is not really important at all, but I would kind of like to get them back. Oh 
shit, he chased me up here. Let's see if we can solve our other problem with pyromancy here. Is yes. There's various loot all over the place in here too. It's just such a pain in the ass to explore through this heavy water. about these assholes. Shit, I need to get out of that cloud. These guys will inflict what's called Curse. It's a bar that if it reaches 100, you die. Easiest way to think of it. And that cloud is Curse. So I'm playing it very safe here. These basilisks are not fun. I actually don't know, um, I don't recall what specific penalties Curse bears in this game, if any. In Dark Souls 1, if you died of Curse, then you were, uh, your max health was reduced to one half of its max until you found a way to remove the Curse, which was usually through an item that you had to buy. Fighting these guys one at a time is pretty easy, but it's when you get like, three or four of them on you just shooting those clouds. That's when it gets really dangerous. back to the beginning of where we were. Cancel the poison real quick since I'll be fighting these guys.
right, fire number two. Alright, fuck that. Fire around here somewhere. I can remember where it is. This one that we've put out already. But I think it might be. might be in this freestanding building. Stick a homeward bone on my uh, hot bar so I can hopefully escape really quickly if I need to. Huh, maybe it isn't in that building after all. Yeah, time to make an escape. I think that's good for now. I can uh, finish exploring the swamp next time and move on to the next boss. Let's see. Go and visit our loyal subjects real quick. Do the rounds here. Speak thy desire, honorable lord of hollows. Hmm. Till we meet again, may the... All right. Oh, this guy's back from his mission. Nice. Oh, hello. You've come at a good time. Oh, it took some prowling, but I finally made a score. Go on. Have a gander. I honestly don't even know what's new here. Let's, let's see. So we got a bunch of different types of armor. That's nice. A couple varieties of weapons. Lightning urns, I think those are new. Maybe some. These are new, I think. The uh, embers. Okay, nice. Grab some dark knives. Oh, this place is a bore. What good is thievery if you've nowhere to go? <laughs> oh, creepy followers. Ah, there you are, and I am pleased to have a <laughs> Let's see.
can do this one. That's a new pyromancy that we can do use. Not be gone. What is oh, actually, let's uh, let's reinforce uh, that pyromancy I flame too. Do not be gone for long. I don't know if that actually. I I assume it would improve the damage, but I could be wrong. What need? That we have anything to reinforce? Or, yeah, we need large titanite. We can give him that coal that we found in Fair and Keep. Well, well. What's the undead legion doing with a coal such as this? I'd heard one of the crystal sages had sided with Farron's abyss watchers. I suppose it must be true. You should know. This coal is imbued with magic. First one I've ever seen. Hardly a surprise, is it? I've never been one for books or wise men. <laughs> so what these coals do, in addition to allowing us to continue upgrading our weapon further, they also allow us to do what's called infusing, which is where we can find these gems and we can make different types of weapons. So we can make a crystal or a fire or a blessed weapon. And that will modify like the damage that they do. Pretty be careful. As well as the I damage don't. types. Ah. Oh. Ashen one. Let's let's see what that fire surge looks like real quick. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice. Alright, well, I'll leave it off there for now.